Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Today we're gonna watch the world burn. Um, so I was gonna play some ranked because I want to get the risk factor card art for the month. So trying to hit platinum. Um, was playing a couple different decks. Was playing Gruel. Uh, that was kind of my go-to. The Immortal Sun version we were playing and a couple different variants. Was up to gold one and had a crazy losing streak. Really tilted all the way down to gold four. So went back to old trusty uh, mono red. Um, this is my best of one version that I've gotten back up to gold two with in like a day and a half, uh, playing kind of sparingly. Uh, There's also a good chance uh, a lot of people ask uh, within the subreddit on, you know, beginner decks, and they always kind of point to mono red. So I wanted to have a resource put together to kind of demo it out, especially the best of one version. Um, so we'll play this out. So it's pretty much your traditional uh, best of one deck. Uh, or mono red deck, you got your your steamkins, your wizards to turn on wizards lightning, a bunch of burn spells, light up the stage. Um, I'm going with a split of two frenzy, two Chandra. I've liked it at that point, and I'm playing 18 uh, lands, and uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll take it for a spin, see how we goes. Um, I'm opting to not play Risk Factor because there's been a lot of Narset and it feels really bad in the face of Narset. Also Chandra kind of gets to the point where they can't really answer it with attacking it because they die but it gives us card advantage and the mix with that and um, Frenzy has been pretty good. So we'll play a bunch of uh, ranked matches just kind of go through there. I'll walk you through my line of thoughts. Uh, we'll keep so usually, as much as possible, you want to one-drop some sort of card advantage and some sort of burn, preferably a wizard to turn on wizard's lightning. The best draw for the deck is on the play, turn one lava runner. Turn two, you play two wizard's lightning, attack for two, you deal eight damage on turn two. As well as, I think there's a stigma around mono red that it's just like brain dead, throw fireballs at your opponent's face. Um, there's a lot of nuance that actually happens. Your creatures tend to not really scale well to the late game. Um, and it's about knowing when to play what line. You know, when to bait with a steamkin, when to kind of go all in. Um, waiting on this opponent to go. Uh, but it's usually a little bit more nuanced and it's one of the trickier decks I've found. Like it's, there's some games you just win based on the fact your opponent does nothing and you're just like hit you for three, hit you for three, hit you for three. Uh, but other games you kind of got to think around the lines and like what do you kill in terms of their creatures and point your burn spells to creatures versus what do you kind of go to the face. Uh, usually when you're seeing a green deck you're going to want to shock the elf. Turn one. Oh. Uh, while the opponent goes, one of my doors just slammed with the wind. I'll be right back. So opponent's still deciding what he wants to do. We'll keep... Okay, so Legion's landing. So this is an instance where killing their life linker on one is sometimes the correct play. If we had a shock... It's a Boros variant. So Dantos kind of hit or miss in this matchup. We're actually okay with them taking the damage a lot of times. Uh, here I'm just going to set up the Steamkin. No attacks. I'm inclined to take a, an attack from the Vanguard this turn. Uh, next turn we can Wizard's Lightning. So Benalia, another Chandra is not the best there. Uh, so that can make a four power. So I'm going to see if we can bait them. No, I think we hold off the attacks. We can just...
I want him to keep him off flipping the the, the uh, legions landing. So I'm just gonna do this here. We'll also see with like um, if they have like a Benelish Marshal, we want to keep a spell for that to hurt him. Um, gonna hang off again because I want to protect the Chandra. Uh, Tithe Taker's fine. Okay, so here. Can go. I want to turn on light up the stage. Let's go three to the face. Opponent's thinking here. Lava runner is good, so it lets us play another lava runner. Kill that. That gives us a good amount of damage into the opponent this turn. So that way we've dealt with their board. Uh, we can just ramp into a Chandra either through Steamkin next turn or if we hit a land naturally. They opt for the trade there. And we're pretty live to like a Chain Whirler. Their Adanto is not really playing defense for them. Ah, they're playing Knight of Malice. That is relevant. So we do take a chance if we draw a land and then pop the mana from the Steamkin and not draw something better with Chandra that our steamkin becomes too small to block profitably. See if they go in for attacks. Opponent's thinking about it. Might need to be mindful of like heroic reinforcements out of the deck. Looks like they'll just time through their attack phase. Okay, because that gives us something else to do if we kind of taper off our mana. We're going to do that. We might just win from the timeout from our opponent. Might have had to step away from the computer. 
When you're ranking, it's not the best for content, but I will take the wins however I can get them. Generally with like mono red, it doesn't take as long to play through some games, but when your opponent's roping each turn... So we'll just go to the face here and then play some defense. See what the opponent goes with. Jeez. Giving away most of the card styles for free for this deck. Opponent's killing us. Killing us with the time. How many rope outs do they get? Alright, so hopefully our next opponent's a little bit more responsive. Regardless, we will take the victory. Hopefully get back up to gold one. Usually like just jamming this deck, you could get quite a few games in. It's not like the K Dread Horde mirrors. Um, so this hand, we have no one drop, but we have Skewer and Lightning Strike followed by Chain Weller. The one thing this hand's missing is a source of card advantage. So no Light Up the Stage and no Frenzy or Chandra. But having three lands might not be too bad. So good. This, is, this ability is actually pretty relevant um, because you can also redirect to Planeswalkers. So red, white, hatchling. So here, we're just gonna get this out of the way now. They'll get their 3-3, three, three. but we can lightning strike it next turn. Surprisingly effective against us. Ooh, and a Dread Horde. Okay, that makes it a little bit more awkward. Um, here, because they could gird again. Uh,. But you maybe want to make that force them into the attack. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. So even though this is sorcery, they can gird on both of these. We're gonna use the first strike and then lightning strike in response. was a little bit more risky because if they have a protection spell so we're gonna shock this
we'll let them go to their end step and then we'll lightning strike the arcanist alrighty so we are drawing a few too many lands I'm just gonna end the turn here we have pressure I'd rather clear their board of a an attacking creature. So it's a pretty good turn for the opponent. We're gonna have to skewer this. Not the best draw, but it is pressure. Because we don't play Frenzy, there's not much utility in holding lands. Like we can bluff, so I'll probably hold any future lands. But with Frenzy out, you want to have like a good amount of mana. Okay, so they're pretty desperate. That shows that they don't have a creature in hand. They're blowing through their pump spells, and this is a weakness of these decks is... Like if they don't play a Danto Vanguard or something like that, that's a little bit more responsive. It's fine, they blow the spell there, keep the Yoshino. So if we could dodge like another turn or two of creatures, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, they are burning all their... Uh... That's actually really good for us. Well, we've drawn seven of our, uh, that can get us them out of the game, or get them back from the game. Uh, let's do it like this. No attacks here. This will draw my card. They can also use the Reckless Rage. We'll see what they go with. If they go Reckless Rage, then I'll throw a block in front. Okay, they're just going to go Shock. This forces them into burning a spell here. Yeah, they still take a damage. So they're wasting resources. No problem. Fire can't solve. Oh, yeah. Just gonna start poking in. Okay, Relia is scary. Relia means this hits for f at least four this turn. If they choose to shock. That's five. They do take four to the face. So they are taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, so there's light up the stage. See we draw off light up the stage and then go from there if we want to play another Chandra. Ah, we got him. Gotcha! And that's why I like Chandra on this list. Like, the opponent's focusing on this but also taking damage from attacking it while we can just keep trying to get card advantage. What do we get up to? Almost gold one. We'll run a couple more. So this is a bit of a trap hand where don't reliably have a way to turn this on. We're on the draw. 
So the hand's not as explosive, so I think this is a mull. Now if we get a one drop instead where we could turn on light up the stage, that's a, a keep. Okay, so we'll keep this one. Want a second land. So we have a play, like if they drop the elf. Even an early explorer creature we can deal with. Okay, so against these ramp decks, you want to take them off mana to try to get them to stumble. Land, 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 land. Uh, close. At least we could play it. So this is going to happen sometimes. You're going to lose to yourself. We play 18 lands. Jeez. So, hopefully find a land next turn. Not sure what the opponent's on. I don't think the ramp decks play guild gates. You want to usually maximize the amount of force you have. Jeez. Um, well, let's just be mana efficient. The fact they spent four mana to counter one mana, if they want to trade here, I'm fine. We got another one to follow up with. They drop a Nisa, we're in a bad spot. What you got? What you got, opponent? Crisis. Only gains him one life. Oi. So, we are getting punished. Wizard's Lightning can deal with it next turn. See if they go offensive or not. Yeah, so... At this point, we're pretty much dead. I'm just going to blow up their lands. Especially, like, usually with Nisa you don't want to do your forests unless you're going to, like, kind of combo that turn. Don't really have much option. They got two mana there. I think we're just gonna concede next turn. So they can adapt incubation. Played a lot of spells off one mana. That's uh, yeah. It's turn two clock. We can't deal with seven power. So that's a we stumble, and that's where the London Mulligan might come into place. Having seen like an extra card early, we could have put some stuff away, dig that much deeper. Try this hand out. Uh. Is it kind of rough because they're every, everything they have is four toughness. We gotta kind of do combinations of like chain whirler. Okay, so this is likely just guy super friends. Let's pop that out. They drop it to fairy, bounce my steam can. Oh, they got the Clarion. Okay, so the land there is good. 
means we could still be playing magic. So, ideally I like to keep the Chain Whirlers for a turn where we can... So here they're kind of forced, right? Like they're not, if they bounce it, we just recast it. Okay. They basically fog a turn because they gain the life. So we'll see what they come up with next. Alright, you're gonna tuck. Uh, so here, I want to get this off the table. Time for Plan B. I'm doing this because they could usually play Spell Pierce like that, so we didn't want to. Getting to ferry off the the table is important. It's a win condition as well as just more card advantage. So that's why we didn't go Steamkin. Also at this point, like they've shown Clarion already. Okay, so they have Lava Coil. So now we'll drop the Steamkin. Kazmina. That lets him cycle. Uh, she taxes, right? Spells your opponent cost that target a creature or planeswalker you control cost two more. Just pass turn. It's a little awkward. They're getting a lot of life and value here. I think we might just need to try to race here. Focus on what matters. Uh, and another Teferi. Yeah, we lost this one. This matchup's kind of 50-50. If you could have an aggressive enough start, then they're just playing from behind, but Kazmina's actually really good against the deck. And then if they can get the Interplanar uh, Portal, whatever the land is called, uh, that just kind of gives them incremental life gain. But there they went like... Sweeper, Teferi Bounce, Lava, like Burn, Planeswalker, 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 which is pretty tough. Um, we'll try this out. It's a bit slower than I like, and we are missing two lands, so it might be... Like, we really need running lands in this hand. Okay. Don't mind that. Let's just double spell effectively in a couple turns. They could have Thought Erasure. Okay, search. Run that out there. So they could have Baby Teferi next turn. When they play a Scanta, it's usually indicative of a more controlling build than a hero build. You're gonna bounce. Um, that lets us play the most spells. So we can attack that skewer and play Gitu, which is probably what I'll do. Let's just be the most mana efficient since we missed a line drop. Ok, 
Kaya's Wrath. Cry Carnarium. Ay ay ay. Okay, well, past turn. Opponent's in a good spot. So it was a bad keep on our part. Got a mana screwed a couple times now in this deck. I think I need to go up to 19 lands just with the density of 4 drops we have and then like the 3 drops. That's fine. Which one do you want? Probably Frenzy. Chandra's probably easier for them to deal with. Most of these lists have gone away from Mortify. So they've been a Contempt, which is interesting. Let's see if they have the Absorb. Pass the turn, let them do everything on their turn. So they can flip a Scanta here. They keep it. So it must be a good one. Sometimes against Esper you just win like this. Like they need to find a way to stabilize. They've been an Absorb. That's aggressive. It's basically gain six life. Okay, so now we gotta go to the face. Hi, 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 hi. This game's in our grasp. We've dr gone through to seven, five draws up, finally. Um. Go Chain Whirler here. They have the counter. Yeah, that's good value for them. Draw a card, gain two life basically. Yeah. Not out of it yet. <laughs> We're very close to. We haven't had a cheap spell to turn off light on the state light of the stage. Another moment of craving. And they got to fairy. Ah, that's just nonsense this game. Yeah. Well, we had a good streak, we were up, and then just ran into Let's tweak this, go down, Wizard's Lightning, 19 Mountains, Let's see how that works. Now instantly we're just going to get 5 Land Hands. Keep that. <sighs> kidding me. 
And we don't have the burn spell to get rid of a hero. These lists are now playing to spark main. Yeah. How we go from variance is a hell of a drug. Are you kidding me? Okay, Chain Whirlers, that, that's actually pretty good for next turn. Be back in it. I got deputy here. Which I'm actually okay with them playing on that. Let's see if I can bait them into not blocking. Sometimes it's just worth faking it. And spent money. What are you getting rid of? Um, let's see if they block here. Get our, our, our burrow back. Alright, it's a pretty good spot. We always have a chain whirler to clean up in our hand if things get out of control. These going. Okay, so the hostage taker again. Likely poke into us. Um, I think we just go face as much as possible. Just pass the turn here. So they got to ferry. Right on schedule. You know what? I'm not done yet. Interesting, they don't tuck the frenzy. I guess we could kill Teferi if they tuck the frenzy. So lightning strikes good here. Clears the board. That was uncalled for. Um, do we just go face here and just ignore Teferi? Let's go all at the opponent. They're forced into blocking one of our two toughness spells. So Othakaya buys him a little bit of time. They can tuck the frenzy. Okay, they mortify. 
but yeah, we got him. All right, so despite drawing eight, ten of our nineteen lions, so more than half our lions, we are able to take down Esper Hero, and that gets us our fifteenth win of the week. Let's crack the pack. Massacre girl. All right, so. In the end, we kind of played a little bit better than 500. 50% win rate, a couple of uh, tough draws, but we'll keep refining the list. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe.